Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barra. Welcome. Today, I'd like to get into something that Scott brought up, a question about a quote that I uh, we had discussed in this class a few weeks ago, and actually hit from a couple of different angles. And uh, I'll read the quote to you uh, again. And uh, this is from... Uh, the Taiji Chuan Jing, which is probably the, the oldest major Taiji Chuan classic that at least it's one that kind of harkens back to an oral tradition that goes really, really deep. And as such, it's usually attributed to, uh, to John Zong Fong, who's, um, who's the you know, legendary founder of Taiji Chuan, uh, the Taoist saint and uh, Taoist immortal, um, although it's controversial whether or not the, that actually was the source of it. But what we do know is that it's really old and it's part of the oral tradition and it actually has a lot of really cool stuff in it. And uh, uh, we don't get very deep into the, uh, into the, uh, the treatise. Uh, we, um, uh, to get actually, um, the, the, the quote I'm talking about is that, so the, uh, it's whenever one moves, the entire body must be light and lively and must above all be connected throughout. The chi must be, uh, the chi should be excited. The spirit should be gathered within. Let there be no hollows or projections. Let there be no stops and starts. Its root is in the feet. It's issuing from the legs, it's controlled from the yao, and it's shaping in the fingers. From the feet to the legs, and then the yao, there must be always completely one chi. So that's, you know, it goes on from there, but that's the, the part I want to focus on. And the part that uh, Scott was mentioning here was right in there in the first sentence there, the entire body must be light and lively and must above all be connected throughout. And the emphasis here on the light and lively part, because we talked at some length about the connected throughout, and that's something that we we get from that uh, the connected tissue system. That whenever we activate that, we the whole body gets this uh, integration that takes it to a whole other level of uh, of unity. And so that connected throughout, we get that through that uh, that that energetic connection of to the uh, to uh, the connective tissue system using the uh, principle of tensegrity, where everything is is becomes like a uh, uh, like the like a circus tent, the way that that uh, the surface of the tent is takes the energy and disperses it throughout the whole system. But the light and lively part is something that is, I think, really crucial to this. And uh, and like so many of these things, these Chinese terms, it's our best guess at what is meant there. And I, I, I like the uh, idea here of uh, light and lively. So the, uh, the light part is the Qing, Q-I-N-G is the, uh, is uh, that and the light part is you know, as many variations on Qing as there are light in, in, in English. If you look say, you know, what's the definition of light? It's like, okay, well, in what context are we talking? You know, and so in, and so in this context, Qing refers to light as in like a light touch. That is your, your, sensitive and you're really listening to the uh, to what's going on around you you're very responsive to your environment and with your what you have a, that there's a lightness to it you know contrast that to like kind of a dense heavy kind of feeling you know uh, you have this very it's, it's a light touch like say uh, you have with a uh, uh, with a horse you know you're you're using a light touch to uh, to to ride a horse. You don't want to 
jerk, you know, get the word pissed off. You want you want to use a light touch there so that it's firm, it's controlling, but it's also responsive. So that's the ching part. The other part is ling, L-I-N-G, and that is um, that has a whole also a whole lot of different nuances to it. And depending on, on what what we're talking about. So the idea here that uh, in using lively is that there's a uh, is there's an effervescence, there's a an electricity about it. So the body is light and lively. It has there's a quality there, it's it's not sluggish and torpid and and uh, it's it's more expressive, dynamic, it's more uh, young, ex uh, uh, expansive. And uh, the other quality that that Ling has to it, and a lot of different uses, it has a, a quality relating to uh, spirituality or uh, mystical. So we get this idea here from that, that, you know, that, that liveliness is one that is coming from the chi. It's like there is, it's also coming from how much of your attention you're bringing to the moment. Whenever you get that, you're bringing your awareness to the moment, to that conscious, mindful feeling and doing, there is a uh, uh, an energetic quality that comes out of that that is unique, it's ephemeral, it, there it's gone. But so when we think about the light and lively, the, we have this, this sense of a very soft touch, which is something that we kind of associate with Tai Chi Tran, is that a soft yet powerful touch that is also expansive, expressive, it, it's fluid, it is able to move, it's light on its feet. And, uh, but at the same time, it's rooted and connected. So we're getting a, a, a picture here of what they're talking about there. So that the chi is one chi, there's one chi that animates this. So we have this, we get, you know, what I call energetic coherence. That is, whenever the energy is pulsing together in a very unified way. When that happens, then we have qualities emerge that are not present in a non-coherent state. So we're bringing our focus in to the moment, into feeling the body, that conscious, mindful feeling and doing allows the this light and lively quality to emerge out of something which is, you know, it's just a, a hunk of meat otherwise. So we want to get that, that bring that, that we're endowing it with the spirit, with Chen. So we, uh, in this, you know, in this this light and lively thing, we're we're combining these these factors here that the whole system is connected throughout. That the body is light and lively. It's 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 expressive. So the and and then we have the one chi. The other quality of it is there's a um, a sense of the chi is uh, is being vibrated. It's being it's excited and excitable. So we get when the chi is, uh, whenever we, this is part of the, uh, the the lively part is we're vibrating the chi and making it um, something that is is active. It's it's alert. It's expressive. It's effervescent, and contrasting to that. You are calm and centered. The body gets 
lively, but you're calm and centered at the same time. So this creates a polarity there between the yin of that calm spirit and the yang of the, the vibrating energy. So we get those things. So the what we're going to play with now is we're going to go through, um, we're going to feel into that and uh, and really emphasize you know that movement. And I guess the um, you know, kind of just to dwell on that one more moment. The uh, you know, what makes us able to be light and, and lively is getting our awareness in our connective tissue system so that we are not depending on crude muscular force to animate the body. So we move, but we're moving, we're emphasizing this quality of reaching, extending, opening, expanding rather than contracting, pulling in. So whereas crude muscular force is dependent on muscular contraction, you know, you think about a bicep curl, you know, you're, you're, you're making the muscle shorter, right? And that's what muscular uh, tension does. It's, it, it's pulling the muscles in. What we're doing in Tai Chi Chuan is we're the opposite. We're opening up and we're extending outward and lengthening the tissues as we do that. And so there's, it's a whole different mindset and it, its power depends on this integration of body, mind, and spirit and using the energy as a way of filling up the system. So we're gonna play around with, uh, with uh, an exercise we've done before, but the, uh, um, Especially unfamiliar to, to, to allow us to focus on the uh, the quality here that, uh, that we're we're talking about here, this light and lively energy. Before we go on, any questions or thoughts on this? Anybody? All good, 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 good. Okay, great. Let's uh, do it. Okay, let's begin by um, uh, getting a three pillar set. Let's feel into the balls of the feet. Establish your position over the balls of the feet. So we're engaging and amplifying the feet, amplifying the yang chi. Knees are unlocked. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin. Open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Feel your neck getting longer, opening, creating space between the vertebrae. Relax your lower back. Feel into your, your tailbone, your coccyx. And wag your tail. Imagine a big long tail behind you. We've been playing with dragon tail lately, so just imagine that long tail. And Push away from the earth and then spiral down and spiral down to the left, but wag your tail to the right as you do that. And then wag your tail to the left as you do that. We're releasing the hip joints now. Getting very stung in the quad. Reach with the elbows and open the shoulder joints. Point the index fingers and feel that energetic coherence. Feel the activating the 
tensegrity of the connective tissue system. So feel your fingernails and feel the chi, feel the claws at the, at the, at the tip of your fingers there. Activating the, the meridians in your hands. Now sink into your heels and release down. Get very yin. At the same time, you're reaching upward with the crown of the head. And you can imagine a something right about here, about maybe six, eight inches above your above the crown of your head. And imagine that that's pulling up, it's attracting your head. You're kind of reaching up to touch that that spot there that you know in, in the um, in Taiji, they say a light and insubstantial energy lifts the crown of the head. So we're reaching up to that insubstantial place above there. In other esoteric traditions, there's, it's imagined that there's a, a chakra, an energy center in that spot. But if you reach with the crown of your head and, and Identify that as a target for your reaching. You can feel something going on there. Feel something. There's a quality of yang chi that uh, animates your body to do that. This enables us to feel much, much lighter. So first, we're just going to feel into this light and lively thing. So just reach with your wrists, with the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists, and very slowly, relax your shoulders, reach with your elbows, and open the shoulder joints. And feel your wrists being pulled up. So your arms are very, very light. There's very little muscular tension there. There's no shoulder tension. Arms are just feel they're up. They're being floating upward. And that quality of floating there is what we're looking for. At the same time, feel the liveliness of it as we Bring our awareness to that. Reach to the fingers. Feel those fingernails out there. And feel into that and notice the, the lively part, the ching and the ling between those two there. The whole body is connected throughout. There's one chi. The energy is excited and excitable. Very gently wag your tail, hardly noticeable at all. Just feel that reaching with your tail, extending behind you, connecting that up to your fingers, connecting that up to the crown of your head. Feel the energy that's getting generated in your hands and your arms as you do that. Your arms are very soft, your shoulders are very soft. Just check that out, just make sure there's no tensions creeping in there. And then reach down with your elbows and feel your arms floating down like a, like a leaf on the breeze. Just kind of settling down, down, sink into your heels as we do that. Empty out, just allow the 
Your body just kind of dump all that chi down through your heels and into the earth. And feel the yin chi of the earth rising and coursing through your body. Allowing all that excitable energy to just disappear. Just let it go. And calm everything down. And we can do that because we know that we can go back there. We don't have to cling to any energy. We're not storing anything. We want recreatable potentials of energy. We want to know that, oh yeah, we can create as much chi as we want, anytime we want. Now sink into the balls of your feet. Wag your tail slightly, just get that connection there. Reach to the crown of your head. Reach with your wrist. And just feel your arms even lighter this time. Just feel your arms are just emptying out and they're just floating upward. Being drawn up by your wrists. Reach with your elbows, open your shoulder joints. Feel your shoulder blades separating as you reach. Reach the fingers. Feel your spine. Feel the shoulder, the shoulder blades opening. Feel your shoulders reaching, your elbows reaching, your wrists reaching, your fingers reaching, yet there's no tension there. Wag your tail. Just allow that very gently to animate the whole system, to excite the chi. And sink at your heels and ah, let it go. Dissolve the chi. down, calming all that excitable energy. Feel into that calmness there. Feel into the that centered feeling. Step in. Take a deep breath. Turn the balls of your feet open. Expressive, young, expansive, big. And then go to your heels and ah, yin. Releasing down, down, down. Emptying out. Throwing it all away. Dissolving into the emptiness. Okay, so now we're going to go a little deeper. We're going to do the Wudong Mountain Tai Yi Wuxing Chan. We're just going to do a few moves of that. It's a great exercise for exploring light and lively. 
And just follow along as best you can. If uh, if something is too challenging, we're do an abbreviated version of it. Something that you feel comfortable with. So I want you to get a feeling what that feeling that light and lively idea, as well as the whole body connected throughout, as well as the one feet, fitting that into a uh, an exercise which gives us an opportunity to explore that. So let's uh, I'm going to turn turn my back to you because that way you can follow along better. I'll try to. Describe it as best I can. Step out your left foot. Just relax and sink into your heels. Reach for the crown of your head. Feel your three pillars. Right now we're emptying out, and this is this is uh, can be seen as like the Wu Chi part, the the undifferentiated nothingness that precedes the somethingness. We're just creating a uh, uh, an empty space for the energy to to happen. Let's sink into the balls of your feet and sink down. Bend your knees, sink down, as if you're gathering up a chi and. As you come up, you'll reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists, your arms. Come up in front of your chest. Your arms are rounded. Open between your shoulder blades. Feel your spine, feel your shoulder blades. Reach. With your elbows, opening the shoulders. Reach the wrists, opening the elbows. Reach the fingers, opening the wrists. And then we're moving into the, from the Wuji into the Taiji. This is the undifferentiated somethingness. This is going into form. Just feel that expansiveness on the balls of your feet and the energy is opening. And sink into your heels as you sink down. Rotate your forearms or your palms face forward. Again, opening the shoulder blade, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Very lightly. There's no straining any of this. It just sort of feels like it's being pulled in this position. And to the balls of the feet and slowly separate, reaching with your elbows, your wrists. Opening. Here we're separating the yin and the yang. Opening. Reach out. Really feel that expansion. At the same time, it's very light and lively. Feel the energy moving through. Opening. Circle with the right 
with both hands, actually, you're circling and turning and step in with your right foot. Reach up with your left hand. Reach out with your right hand. The right hand is the yang hand, the left hand is the yin hand. Sink into your left leg. Lightly on the toe of your right foot. Turn. As you're turning, wag your tail. Step out with your right foot. And on the heel, feel the ball, set that. Wag your tail to the right as you sink into your right leg. Wag your tail to the left as you turn. Right hand circles around and reach out. Reach, relax your shoulders. Really feel that expansion, feel the, everything opening up. Pivot on your left heel, turn your foot out. Wag your tail to the left as you spiral down. Wag your tail to the right as you turn. Left hand circles out. Reach with your right hand, opening the shoulders, opening the elbows. Everything just opening. Get your right foot. Wag your tail to the right and then turn. Circle that right hand, left hand scoops down. Step in with the left foot. Reaching with the right hand, left palm up. Wag your tail to the left. Sink down into your right foot. Take your left foot and step out. To the ball to the left foot. Set your left knee. Wag your tail to the left as you spiral down to the right. And then wag your tail to the right as you turn. Left hand turns, reaching out, palm out. Feel that your arms open, your shoulders opening. Feel the space between your scapula. Feel the ball pivot on the right heel. Turn the right foot out. Feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee. Wag your tail to the right. And turn. Wagging to the left. Feel that expansion. Put it on your left heel. Your left, wag your tail to the left and then turn. Step in with the right foot. Feel your hands. Feel the pressure of the external chi on the palm of your hands. Feel the density there. Wag right, your tail to the right, stick down into your left leg. Step out with the right foot. To the ball of the right foot. Wag your tail to the right. Spiral down to the left. Reach with the right hand and turn. Feel that expansion. Feel the whole body moving as one. 
Feel the connection between your feet and your fingers and your tail and your crown of your head. Left hand reaches around. Both hands circle in front of you. Kick it to your left leg. Reach for the elbows open. Turn. Kick it to your heels. Sit down and rotate palms reaching out. Feel the energy. Back down with your elbows, your wrists. Kick it to your heels. Hands come down. Rotate your forearms. Palms forward. And Lean backward, opening your chest, opening your shoulders, opening your neck, your throat. And just allow the energy to move through you. Come back up. Rotate your palms back to your heels. And step in. Move the balls of your feet. Inhale, hands come up, young, expansive, gather, spread your heels and uh, exhale, yin, consolidating, emptying out, throwing the chi away, dissolving. Feel into the emptiness. Take a seat, please. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. That was interesting. Something new. Haven't quite, haven't quite settled into, haven't, you know, the, the excitable interior is now sort of wandering around as if they had just been in a rave for a couple of days. <laughs> 
trying to figure out what just happened, what's going on. That's not like it was last week. So if I if anything comes to me, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Make the guy some cocoa or something. They've already made they've already drunk <laughs> gallons of that. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're buzzing at this point. <laughs> uh, how'd that go, kids? Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I made a word. I want credit. <laughs> Uh, so since you you had the uh, you you had the topic, did that mm -hmm. answer your question? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely got a. Um, I mean, obviously, we you know I've you know obviously I've been light and lively before in my form and stuff, but um, that was a good. It was a good pointer of it's right here, kind of you know. Um, definitely have. Um, when you were, you know, talking about um, reaching without tension, that's where I'm. That's where I need some work. My lower mm. back, my lower, my lower back keeps tensing up. Like I don't know if it, I don't know if it wants to help or what, but I had to keep releasing. Had to keep releasing, keep releasing. But but I definitely got. Yeah, it was definitely. Um, yeah. So it was a, baby steps. You know, just. Don't, don't overdo it. Just kind of, you know, see, see what what negotiate. What can what can we do together, guys? You know, and kind of play with that. What can I relax into? It was a chi tour de force, though. There was definitely, um, you know, definitely a lot of different energies. That were... There was a bunch there, wasn't there? Yeah. There's a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> And as we keep doing these things, we keep kind uh, of cranking up, you know, raising the bar, and and you know so that we're able to tolerate more and more of uh, you know the, the highs and the lows. My my guys were bellying up to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> On the house. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely felt, um, you know, the solidity of the feet um, and that with the, the lightness was, ex you know, not that I haven't felt this stuff before, but really focusing on those particular points, you know, but, and I didn't ask to feel the solidity of the feet, but there it was. And then you know, the other parts, especially all the way to the fingertips, feeling that lightness. I was, um, I had an image that I expected, which was like champagne bubbles. And I didn't get the champagne bubbles, but there was definitely, I, I wanted the champagne bubbles. That's, that's probably my problem. I wanted it. Um, but the, uh, the liveliness, the and it's it's really good that this is a form that is not particularly familiar to me. Um, so I just had to let go and and just feel with it, you know. Right. So the lightness was was there, and then really paying attention to the lively, you know, that was that was very interesting. I really liked that, nice. you know, in conjunction with the feet being you know, feeling so rooted. And I, I have to say, I did like you turned around. I know we couldn't see your feet, but I just trusted that, you know, doing Tai Chi that I'd know, okay, is this supposed to be turned out? Is that supposed to be turned out? But it was easier for me to get out of my head, trying not trying to translate right and left, but oh, right. and it was very funny because when you said step out with, whatever foot it was, we yeah. started the left foot. I expected to step out with the right because I was so used to translating that. But that was just that was just the first one. And then the rest was um, 
easier to follow. So then I could pay attention to the feelings, you know, what was happening inside. Um, so I'm just saying, I appreciated the turnaround. Cool. We will attempt to do the turnaround whenever it's appropriate. Appropriate. There we go. Thank you. Dennis. Yeah. Um, the dragon thing. Um, actually, in our, in, my, in our class the last year or so, we started using our tail, pointing our tailbone to the heel of the, the foot that we're loading. And it's really done wonders in improving the form. And now you, you you're doing this. I, I watched the tape on uh, on the on the dragon that you had, dragon tail. Now are are you are are you pointing into the heel, or are you or are you swinging like a whole tail? What exactly do you envision when you say wag the tail? Do you do you are you swinging a whole tail behind you? As or are you just pointing as, into as big heel? as you can as busy big as you can fit into your room. Okay. <laughs> and even, even if you got to knock down some walls with it, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really, well, like you say, just we've learned from our class from just pointing into our heel how much it's improved our form. But doing, doing, you know, I was watching your tape with rolling the hips and rolling the shoulders. It just lit up my fingernails and it's, it's an amazing thing. Um, it's, it's really stepped up the game. It's, it's good stuff. Great. Yeah. Terrific. And you know, as far as that, you know, watching you from behind, one of the best instructional films I've seen on a Tai Chi was you, you have an old, it's an old one you have out there on William Chen 60. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, it goes off on some tangents. From, from, from 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some young guy, I think he's a younger brother or something of years. Oops, <laughs> like yeah. But you know, you made the film and I've never seen another Tai Chi film. You did it in front of two mirrors. It was filmed from behind. And it shows you from the back and it shows the you in the mirror from left and right. And it's one yeah. of the best ways to do a Tai Chi instructional film. And it helped us when we started studying the, the 60 form. It was nice. really one of the best, best ways of learning it. Terrific. That, uh, that video is uh, available on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, that's why I watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, it's still out there. I think it holds up pretty well. You know, we've covered yeah, a yeah. lot. We, we've learned yeah. we've learned one or two tricks in the uh, in the thirty years, but uh, I watched it. It was, wasn't terrible. It was. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, we we did it. We 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 started doing the the sixty form about four years ago. Oh, nice. And I mean, and and uh, well, you did it pretty much in script to his book. Which we were studying too, so it was like I mean, you, you showed the feet, you showed the hands, and it was it was a great way to learn it. It was a it was a big help. I enjoyed it a lot. Great, good, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So the uh, yeah, we'll get to that that spiritual aspect of the Ling. You know it. It's how much can you bring your focus, attention to this moment and not as an object, not thinking about, okay, this is Rick and he's talking on, on a camera and he's waving his fingers now and he, you know, et cetera. That's, that's where I'm objectifying the moment. It's bringing your awareness and your attention in, but outside of the story. And we get there much more efficiently whenever we actually tune in to the feelings. That's why I'm emphasizing the feelings and these movements so much, is that enables us to pull our attention outside of that, the, the chatterbox of our conscious mind and be able to move into a super conscious state. And so we get, uh, the more we can bring that focus now, 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 really narrow the focus and filter out the noise for the moment, we are able to create 
amplify you know the available chi as well as the expanded spirit that comes with these movements so uh, getting that it's so, like slowing everything down you know and you know as people say as people said it was like you know yeah i've been here before i know what this is like but this is more and that's what we're looking at we're looking at more we want to by practicing these things and putting them in different the same principles in different contexts we get a chance to explore the universality of these principles and we get to say oh that's not just when i'm doing this particular form this happens not just in when i'm doing my forms it's like when i'm walking down the street or driving a car or kicking a soccer ball whatever it is that we're doing you know if we can bring these principles into it not as thought forms, not as now I got to do this kind of thing, but to actually embody them, to actually bring them in so that you actually are feeling this stuff and your body says, oh, well, this is nice. This is a better way of doing this than what I've been doing before. How about we do some more of that? And you know, we're coaxing the body-mind to come along and play with these new ideas that we're doing. And we, we're we not rocking the boat by throwing too many weird things at once. We're just one little bit at a time and say, hey, that wasn't so bad, now was it? And it says, yeah, let's, let's come and play some more. And we gradually create this level of trust that, that it's okay to, to become superhuman. It's all right. Not a bad thing. So, uh, anybody else? Oh, Valerie, you have something? Um, you know, just on what you were just um, addressing, uh, I know recently we had a conversation about just breathing, you know, to, to, to get yourself together, so to speak. And, you know, it's funny with everything that we've been doing, you know, the, the areas that you've been exploring and bringing up and bringing attention to. Um, I have found over the last several days that just focusing on my breathing, it's a whole different world now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not just it's not just the breath. It brings that that starts it that's the opening of the door and then it just opens up and everything is like it's present it's now it's it's here it's feeling the lightness it's feeling the groundedness it's feeling the liveliness it's 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 just i appreciate it very much that everything that you know it's bringing everything together like you were just talking about, you know, in a simple movement or a simple thing like paying attention to your breath, how the it's not the attitude, it's the the feeling is is more expanded. It's larger. It's bigger. It goes it goes way beyond just breathing, although it's just breathing. So just had to bring yeah. that up because that's Thank cool. You. That, 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 that's really important what you just said. So it, you know, when we talk about this stuff, it's easy to dissolve into cliches. I guess that's what the emphasis I'm trying to make on this is that how much can we get out of our story and into the present moment so that these cliches come alive? These, these thoughts that we've had a thousand times and been told to us a thousand times, like, oh, oh, that's what that means. You know, it, we we're able to grasp it on a whole different level that we yeah, it's difficult to talk about you know because it sounds like yeah yeah i heard that i know that yeah breathe yeah just breathe yeah yeah i got that yeah no 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 man 
Yeah, you want to feel it, man. <laughs> it's it sounds hokey whenever you talk about it, but it's but that's exactly what you're saying exactly right. It's like, oh yeah, it's a different world. And yeah, you know, just having that thought form and knowing something is different than actually doing it. Cool. Scott. Um so Emily Conrad, who's a founder of Continuum, she always, she said that we we're, we're it's we're always on a spiral, so we keep coming around to the same things, but we're at a you know we're up we're going up as we're doing it, so we come back to the same things, but we're higher up, which is what you guys what what you're saying makes me think of, is yeah it's right. yeah it's that thing we did before, but we're doing it from a higher place, and it makes a big difference. Right. And so even the some some of the words will be the same, but they'll mean something entirely different because now you're bringing more of you into the uh, into the, the situation. Is there something there, Rick? No, just okay, cool. <laughs> okay, well, thank you all so much. This has been great. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you, Maria. Uh, love you guys. Bye -bye. Love you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.